Hello folks, in this tutorial we're going to use some simple layers, some track mats and some basic effects to make some mist and fog move across a video layer. Here's a quick demo of what we're hoping to achieve. In fact, I'll show you the shot before the effect's been applied. So this is it, just a basic shot. Shot in winter, sky's a bit grey, dull, whole thing's a bit washed out. So we're going to add some mist, like so, to complement it. If we render it, we can just see it rolling gently across the screen. Now this tutorial doesn't require any additional plugins. This will simply be using all of the effects that come free and are generated within After Effects itself. Okay, let's get to work. Um, let's go back to the project panel. I'm gonna start by grabbing my video layer. I'm gonna bring it down to the Generate Comp button here to set a new composition. Okay, so we've got our video layer, and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new solid. So we've got a layer, new and solid. Now at this stage, don't worry too much about the color. You could have it set to red or orange, it really doesn't matter. In fact, let's try it, let's put it on orange, absolutely anything, it won't matter, because we're gonna change that later on down the line the minute we put the effect on. So click on okay. We've got a new solid layer above the video layer. Make sure that's selected, go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Turbulent Noise. In the Effects panel up here, or rather, sorry, the Effect Control panel up here, we're going to set the Fractal Type to Cloudy, the Noise Type to Linear. I'm going to put my Contrast on 275, now what you'll find is whatever I program in here to the brightness and contrast, you might need to alter slightly depending on the brightness and the color of the footage that you've got that you're working with. But these settings should be an approximation that should work for you. Uh, my brightness I'll put to minus 18. Uh, complexity, let's put that to say about, could be eight or nine, put it to eight. And under transform, Deselect Uniform Scaling, and I'm going to put the width to, say, 430, and the height to 275. Now, we can't see much happening on screen yet. Don't worry too much about that. What we're actually aiming for is a very milky, kind of cloudy affair that we won't really see until we start to mask it out and put a track mat on later. So it doesn't look like much is happening, but trust me, if you get all these settings right along here, this should work well for us. Okay, what I'm going to do is grab that solid, just sort of move it up the screen, and park it just below my tree line, like so. I'm then going to go to Layer, New, and create another solid. Now on this occasion, you do want this one to be a kind of grey. Now depending on how grey you make it, that will have a big impact on what the mist and the fog looks like. So I'm going to go for fairly light grey, like so. Click on OK, click on OK again. Make sure your track map and blend modes, facility and drop down menus are visible here. If they're not, toggle switches to make sure you can see them like so. Now this light grey solid, we're going to click here and use it to make a luma mat onto this orange solid, or the, what was an orange solid, below. And as you can see, we've got this nice kind of sort of milky layer of mist laying over the top of our trees. And that is on that solid layer. But what's given it its nice blend is this grey solid above that we're using as a luma mat onto this layer here. So the final step, or rather the penultimate step, is let's Click on our pen tool here, and let's just create a nice mask, like so. Again, you can plan whatever sort of shape you want to do. This is going to create the actual sort of mist and cloud itself. There we go. And as you can see, it's starting to have a bit more of an effect. It's still pretty sort of basic at the moment, but if we open the mask in this layer here, and then feather it out, like so, maybe expand it a bit so as it comes down, 
I'm not too happy about the shape of this mist, so let's just move some of these points so it looks hopefully a bit more realistic. Let's try something like that. There we go, and pull that out there. Again, you can sort of fiddle around with it later, but a bit careful of putting it too far down there. We'll see the edge of the original layer. But that, that should have enough sort of texture to it. There we go. Okay, may not be as good as the original I did, but you get the idea. I'm going through this fairly quickly. You can always add more mask points and adapt the shape of the mist if you wish. Right, let's select our mist layer and the map that's on top. Select them both. Do a right click. Let's pre-compose them and let's call them mist or fog, whatever you choose. Mist fog and click on OK. So we've now got the mist and the fog as one separate layer. Uh, let's open its transform properties and we can scale it up a bit if we wish to. So, what do we got? Put it maybe to about there. What I actually might do is just click on this little button and deselect the um, locked scaling facility and maybe just scale it a bit more on the x axis. That's looking a bit better already. Maybe scale it a bit more on the y it down like so. That's looking a bit better already. Now to make it move across the screen let's just zoom out my monitor a bit to 50 uh, so we can actually see now we've got our mist layer been sort of scaled out a bit. And actually probably easier to sort of grab it here and you can stretch it, manipulate it a bit more if you wish. And we're going to simply make this move across the screen from right to left so let's position it over about maybe there, give or take. Click on position. Let's go to the end of the clip. Now I usually would do shift and hold as I'm moving, but I'm not too bothered about this going in a straight line. In fact, we might want it moving down the screen like so, so that the mist actually starts to occupy. Let's scale it up a bit more maybe. Yeah, we want it coming down the screen diagonally so it starts to fill in the area and it looked like the mist is actually creeping in. To the field below. Let's have a look at it and see if it's worked. Yeah, not too bad. Let's see, I'm a bit worried about maybe the bottom of it. I'm seeing part of that layer coming through. We'll see if we can fix that in a minute. Let's just preview it back and see how it looks. Whoops, let's get rid of the sound. Don't want to hear that. Let's pull that back and let's see what we've got. Not too bad. We've got a bit of a problem with the bottom of the layer here. So what we'll do is let's open Mist and Fog. So let's open the pre-comp by double clicking on it. If you want to know how to do that again, you just double click on it here. And this opens the original. We can see we have got a bit of a problem here. You can see that very sh sharp edge. Let's just see if we can sort of solve that. Probably if we just get this original layer that we moved up on the screen. Let's um, adjust it, maybe pull it down a bit like so. But actually, let's select possibly the mask and let's open it back up and let's see if we can actually perhaps feather it maybe a bit more. But possibly it's the expansions the issue. Let's contract that back up and maybe feather again, maybe a little bit more. Expand, pull that back. We've got a problem down here still, so let's adjust that mask and pull that up to there. Let's maybe pull that one up to there. Let's expand it again. You can see the more I expand it, the worse it gets. So let's pull that expansion back up. We should hopefully let's just do a tiny bit more. We've just sorted out that area below there. So let's go back to the main comp. That looks a bit better already. Yep, that's much more like it. There we go. That mist is now creeping down across the field and we don't have that nasty sharp edge we had on the bottom earlier. Let's just preview that back and see what we've got. Okay, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Okay, so basic stuff, nice simple layers. The thing that's really helped, of course, is adding 
the turbulent noise. And with this effect, you can actually generate a lot of really good smoke, clouds, mist, numerous things once you start playing with it. And you can actually get some good results. So as you can see, nice bit of mist going across the screen. And just to sort of remind us, that's what it was like before. And let's put the mist and fog back on. That's now with the mist and fog. Okay, not too bad a job. Hope that's worked for you. See you in the next tutorial.